So I just went inside the visitor center for the peninsula. The ladies in there were very lovely and they gave me a map um, of the peninsula. Um, I'm in Seaview right now and I did also purchase, I couldn't help it, this map was so cute and it was a great price. It's the P&W coastline with all of the lighthouses on it. So I had to because it's just so cute. Very helpful in there. So thankful they had a bathroom. <laughs> so I need to get my barons together and just try to figure out what the rest of my day is going to look like. The weather is not really helping out, <laughs> but that's what we, you know, pretty much any weather is good photographing weather. So it's just a different look <laughs> than summertime. I think I'm going to find a boardwalk and go hang out at the beach for a bit. It's about 11. And do the Discovery Trail for a bit and kind of just figure out what I want to do for the rest of the day. I am deciding if I want to go home tonight or I did bring stuff to car camp. I guess it just depends on how much stuff I get done today. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good on time. Like I said, it's only 11. It's still up in the air. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, I love this house. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? <laughs> it's good to be home. People driving on the beach freak me out. <laughs> I had a little bit of a ugh, just driving on the sand myself. <laughs> it's gorgeous though. Are these those weird clamp things that turn the ocean brown? As you can see some of it. It's brown. <laughs> Don't want to get touched by the ocean right now. I brought my bathing suit thinking it was going to be California weather up here. Foolish. Foolish myself. So that beautiful little mountain over there. That's all part of Cape Disappointment and that is for another day. So the lady was talking about a boardwalk. Um, I want to try and find that boardwalk. These houses are gorgeous. God, it's beautiful. Beautiful little town. I'd be curious how much it costs to live out here. Yeah, I think you're this. The woman at the office was telling me that this is the longest garage sale weekend, so there's a lot of garage sales. I don't think I'm going to go into any because I think they would just make me sad. Found the boardwalk. I keep seeing signs about tsunamis. I wonder when the last big one was. Points of interest, tell me where to go. Told you the sun come out today. Woohoo! Wow! Look at this heart. It's so long. This is the longest heart I've ever seen. What an interesting shape. So I think my plan is to try and get to Westport by sunset 
That's in about seven hours. If I were to drive there from here without stopping, it would take about two hours. So I think we're doing good on time, but that's the goal for now. So let's keep heading north up the peninsula and see some beautiful sights. It's frying pan. I think that's a narwhal. Since the sun comes out, everybody's cooking out. They've gotten so busy. <laughs> Free museum. Neat. The original handle. Back in the car again. <laughs> that uh, museum was more like. In Seattle, they have like the Yule Curiosity Shop. It's just like a gift shop with like cookie things in it, but it was huge and it was crowded. <laughs> Lost the pants on my way here. It's uh, cool and breezy now. <laughs> cool. So these are all journal entries from Clark's journal, his travel journal. It looks like you can keep going north, but that trail is for another day. So that is all of the attractions in Longview. So I'm going to continue north up to Oysterville to check out a couple things for photos. And then we'll go to the most northern tip of the Long Peninsula. If you can see up ahead, those mountains are just covered in thick cloud. And I think when we go back to Raymond and South Bend, it's just going to be stormy over there, which is fine. We got some sunshine here. Up in Longview is the Cranberry Museum. I saw, I forgot about it, but I saw some signs, so we're gonna go in. When I was researching, I saw this area has a couple cranberry bogs, um, and I think I just passed one now, and besides that one, I passed one cranberry farm, uh, so I guess this is like a cranberry area. smell the cranberries from here. Let's get a little closer. Cranberry fields forever. <laughs> See, I don't I don't know what it is. So like I, I know I'm in my little tiny Prius, but watching these people and even myself driving on the beach like that. There, oh my god, there's so many cars on the beach. Like, it's scary. <laughs> Is this like a thing? I'm in Oysterville. It's a lot of oyster shells. Schoolhouse, 1907. Made it back to South Bend, and I'm gonna check out this wharf. Cool. Um. Mm. 
Is it real? I don't think so. That was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be when I, I don't know, I thought there was more to do here. But that's okay, because I am a little crushed for time and I really wanna get to Westport. So, on back to Raymond. check out the historic district, the historic downtown of Raymond before driving out. This town seems very quiet and barren so I'm just gonna pass through. <laughs> look really nice in high tide. Right now we're in low tide. Open ocean. That's good. All right, I'm doing it. I'm driving on the beach. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh no, no, no. I know, like, when you're in mud, you're not supposed to panic and flutter around, and that's just what I just did in sta sand. And I almost got stuck. I felt myself sink a little bit. Oh, that hurt my heart. made it to Westport with plenty of sunshine left. So I wanted to check out the lighthouse that's here. I think there's a couple, maybe there's just one. It's so far from the ocean. <laughs> what? <laughs> It says, welcome to Grays Harbor, home of Washington's tallest lighthouse.
I saw it. There's the seal of the day. Oh. He's got like a fish, but I guess they're in like low tide. I have like the wrong lens, the wrong lens for this right now. <sighs> All right, we're almost out of sunlight, and there's one more spot I want to check out, get some nice pictures at, and that is. Straight ahead, the observation deck. <laughs> Alrighty, last stop of Westport. So I just drove through Aberdeen, got some tacos <laughs> for dinner, and I am heading home to Seattle. Aberdeen's really cute. I'll have to come back out here. The only thing I really knew about it was that it was an old logging town. And of course, Aberdeen is where Macklemore is from. I'll have to come back and finish the 101, um, but until then, to Seattle we go. <laughs>